I am Anil Kumar and here is a test paper for you on Unit 2 Derivatives. In this unit, you have learned the power rules, product rules, quotient rules, combination of these along with the chain rule. So these questions are designed for you to prepare for your own test. I have picked up few questions from your book and few from previous test papers. Let's go through them one by one. You can actually pause the video copy these questions, try them on your own. I will also provide you links for their solution. So question number one here is, illustrate two unique situations in which a continuous function does not have a derivative at x equals to 1. Question number 2a, differentiate the following functions with respect to x. So I have provided you with two functions here, both have square roots in it. And at times I find that students struggle with square roots and that is the reason to have this question here. Question number 2b, find the rate of change of given function at given point. So this question is from the book. So we have given displacement and you need to find rate of change which will be velocity at t equals to 2 pi. Question number 2c is on chain rule, find dy dx when y equals to 1 over 1 plus u square and u is square root of x minus 1 at x equals to 4. Question number 3 and 4 are determine, so let me push the paper a bit in front so that you can easily copy these questions. So you can copy question number 2, c, 3 and 4, pause the video and copy them. Question number 3 is determine the derivative of f of x equals to 1 plus x square over 1 minus x square to the power of 10 and simplify fully. Question number 4. The amount of pollution in a certain lake is p of t equals to t to the power of 1 over 4 plus 3 to the power of 3 where t is measured in years and p is measured in parts per million ppm. At what rate is the amount of pollution changing after 16 years? So copy these questions, try to solve them, right? Here are the rest of the questions. I have in all 11 questions on this test paper, right? So now here is questions 5 to 11. So first you can copy the first four questions, which is question number 5. Determine the point on the curve y equals to x cubed minus x square minus x plus 1, where tangent is horizontal. Find the numbers a, b, and c, so that the graph of f of x equals to ax square plus bx plus c has x intercept at origin and 2, 0, and a tangent with slope 16, where x equals to 2. Question number 7 is, if the function, combination function, g of x is equals to h of p of x, where h of 5 is 1, derivative of h at 5 is 1, Derivative of h at 1 is 3, p of 1 is 5, derivative of p at 1 is 7, find g, derivative of the combination function g or composite function g at 1. Question 8 is, determine equation of both lines that are tangent to the graph of y equals to x square and pass through the point 4, 6. Now let me move the sheet forward, copy question number 9, 10, and 11. So these are your application questions. A 75 liter gas tank has a leak. After t hours, the remaining volume V in liters is V of t equals to 75 times 1 minus t over 24 whole square. Determine how quickly the gas is leaking from the tank when the tank is 60% full of gas. Question number 10. Anil Kumar pours pancake batter into a frying pan. The batter radius flows outwards at a rate of 3 cm per second. Find the rate at which the area of the circle is increasing with respect to time when the radius is 12 cm. Express the answer in terms of pi. The last question is very interesting question. Question number 11. Explain using chain rule that the derivative of f of x equals to absolute x 
does not exist at x equals to 0, right? You have to explain using chain rule. I hope you find this paper interesting and useful. I'll give you a solution of the very first question in this video itself and then we will take these questions one by one, right? So here is the very first question, question number one. It says, illustrate two unique situations in which a continuous function does not have derivative at x equals to 1, right? So, so a continuous function will not have derivative if it has a cusp or a corner or if it has a vertical tangent. So these are three different conditions when a continuous function will not have a derivative, right? So remember continuous function and the point is at x equals to 1. So we can make absolute x function which has been moved one unit to right, right? So that could be one of your functions, correct? The other function where we have vertical tangent could be kind of like this. Do you see this graph? It has a vertical tangent here at 1, right? So, so that is the kind of function which is a cube root function which has been translated one unit to the right. And we could also have a cusp at this point. Well, I've drawn all the functions with the point on the x-axis. That was ne not necessary. But that gives you kind of easy equation to write. For example, I could write the first equation as can you write it down? So f of x in the first case is absolute value of x minus 1, right? So that is what it is. And here it is f of x equals to, this is cube root, right? So cube root of x minus 1, right? And this is x to the power of 2 over 3. But that function has been moved to 1 unit to the right, right, so to the power of 2 over 3, right, so this is, let's say, y equals to that, correct? So these are the functions uh, which will not have derivative at x equals to 1, and the reason is, you can see, we could have either a corner, right, so, so the three reasons are a corner, vertical tangent, right, or a cusp, right? So these are, I mean, so these are the three conditions when a continuous function will not have derivative at a given point. Otherwise, if the function is discontinuous, then it will not have derivative since you cannot draw a tangent there, right? Now here, tangent, if you draw, it's vertical. That means it is not defined and that is why here it is not differentiable. I hope that helps. So now you can move on to these solving the other questions and also follow the links for their solutions. I hope that really helps you. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.